Sweet Fancy Moses, Teresa, your favorite clean freak got a new toy. I love my clean freak. Oh. <laughs> Today we are talking robot vacuums. Specifically, we are talking the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni. Top of the line vacuum in their D-Bot line. So this thing's not only a tech device, but it's also a security device, which we'll talk about in a minute. But I will say, Ecovax, I paid for this one. You didn't send it to me. This isn't a sponsored video, but maybe next time you'll hook a brother up because guess what? This bad boy's expensive. $1,399. We're going to talk about is it worth that. We're going to review it, talk about its features, do all sorts of cool stuff. Let's get started. What up, everyone? It's George Langbeer with Silver Hammer Surveillance. Here on the channel, we talk smart home tech. We talk home security. We have videos every Tuesday. We're very happy to have you here. Like and subscribe and do all that cool stuff. But hey, thanks for watching. Again, today we are talking about the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni. Robot vacuum, this thing's pretty cool. Pretty expensive at $1,399. But let's get into the features of this bad boy and see if it's worth it. Whoa, 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 hold on a second. We need to talk about the unboxing and setup before we move on. So yeah, it comes in a big mama box and it's pretty heavy. So beware of that. And then when you unpack it and everything, what do you think, Teresa? About 10 minutes to set it up? Yeah, I think that's about what it was, George. It wasn't too bad. And then you get yourself the Ecovax app, Ecovax app, excuse me. And then it walks you through it step by step. That part probably takes five minutes or less. So you basically sign up for an account, get your sign on and everything. And then you walk, it walks you through it. And then you do your first self mapping exercise with the vacuum. It goes around your place gets a very basic layout. And then from there, man, I'm telling you, it's on. It's on like Donkey Kong. The thing gets to know it pretty quick. So, all right, moving on to the features. So this thing's a vacuum and a mop. Auto cleans the mop heads on the mop part of it. Auto empties the dust bin on the vacuum part of it. Auto refills the internal water tank with fresh water, which we'll talk about. It's got the AIVI 3D camera obstacle avoidance system. So an awesome way that it avoids obstacles like dog poop and stuff. Uh, let's see, we've got technology called True Mapping 2.0 using sensors with laser-based LiDAR technology to get the best map of your home. Works great, we'll talk about that in a minute. Hands-free voice assistant, but also works with Siri shortcuts, so it actually has a voice assistant built into it. But if you're a Siri fan like me, you can use those shortcuts. Dual brushes to aid in the suction power, which is 5,000 PA, which is a pretty badass vacuum. Uh, that's a lot of suction power. All new Osmo Turbo 2.0 rotating mop system on that mop. And then you can also use the camera to patrol your house. And that's where the security uh, part of it comes in, which is very cool for a security guy like myself. All right, let's take a little more of a deep dive. All right, so this thing does a lot of stuff, but let's try to get through it. We're going to start with the vacuum. Self-emptying dustbin. So basically after every use, empties out the dust out the side of the vacuum into a bag, which is pretty standard for robot vacuums, but this one does it very well. Again, 5,000 PA of suction power, which is pretty badass. It's got those dual brushes to help it do that, but that's a lot of suction power, like I said. Great obstacle avoidance with that LiDAR scanner. So all the little obstacles out there, you know, dog poop, whatever it needs to get around because you don't want to drag, drag the dog poop around your house, which can kind of suck. I think all of us experienced that with robot vacuums before, at least those with dogs. Um, so anyway, great obstacle avoidance. So we got easy mapping starting with the first use. So when you set this up with the app, it kind of goes the once over of your house, gets all the travel ways and kind of sets it up from there. And I, I found that that worked very well. Then you can set up name and uh, rooms and then also a 3D map where you can add furniture. So then this thing will even know where your furniture's at, which is awesome. And I find that it did that very well. So, you know, I think other vacuums out there will say that, but this one really did it and did it well. From then on, not only can you tell the vacuum to go to the vacuum in a certain room, but you can also tell it to vacuum around a piece of furniture. And you can actually do that with their built-in voice assistant, which is pretty cool. Hello, I am Nico, the new AI voice assistant for Nicovax and your new housekeeper. And then in addition to that voice assistant, you can also use Siri and Siri shortcuts. And we're gonna talk about that in a minute in the pros and cons list. But Siri shortcuts is an awesome way to use this thing. Going back to the camera that's built into this thing. So not only is it helping it map the room and everything, but you can also patrol your house with it. So it'll announce to everybody in the house that you're using it, so for privacy purposes, but you can actually control this vacuum almost like a, I don't know, like a bomb squad drone or something, but it's pretty cool and you can navigate your house and see what's going on. So you can actually use this as a security camera 
And as a security guy, again, I find that to be pretty cool. So that camera's got multi-uses and that's awesome. In addition to a mapping your home, you can also make a voice call through the vacuum. And so it's got audio, so you can talk to whoever's home and say what's up, or for those people out there that like to talk to their pets. You know, I think in the top five reason people get cameras, um, as a security guy and a camera guy, is to talk to their pets with two-way audio. So anyway, you can use your vacuum to do that. Pretty cool. Okay, so that was some of the features of the vacuum. Let's talk about the mopping feature. Very cool that it's got both. So when you do the mopping mode, basically you just need to go get the mop pads and put it on the vacuum. We'll talk about that in a minute because that might be one of my only cons. When you're in that mopping mode, it does not vacuum your carpet and rugs. I know some of the competitors like the Roborox vacuum will still vacuum the carpet. So again, we're gonna maybe talk about that as a con, but keep in mind, it will only do your floors in that mop mode. It auto washes the mop pads and dries them with hot air to prevent bacteria buildup. So that's awesome. As a germaphobe, neat freak, all that good stuff. I love that feature. It has a built-in water reservoir to keep the mop wet. And then after 15 minutes of mopping, it docks, empties the dirty water into the bin and refills with clean water for those mop pads. So that's pretty awesome. So it uses that water reservoir and keeps that water clean to keep your floor clean. Pretty cool. Okay, let's talk about their trusty app. Pretty good, pretty intuitive. Uh, so here you go, you got your, your home screen where you can enter a smart cleaning or enter the video manager. So if you enter the smart cleaning, that's when you can go ahead and vacuum. If you enter the video manager, you can go ahead and see the, uh, the video camera. So that's cool. Okay, so then you can see on the home screen here, it tells you the battery percentages, it tells you if it's online, you can hit that auto cleaning, just to kind of set it on its way. Now you got the recharge feature. All right, so when you enter that smart cleaning mode, that's where you can set the vacuum on its way. So if you press that, then you got your map of your place. Here we've just got one floor, but you can also do this for multi-level houses. And like I said, it's very cool the way you can set that up. You can create your own dividers, you can name rooms, and then on the 3D mapping, you can actually put in furniture and, and then the thing knows exactly what it's doing and you can either even have it clean around a piece of furniture. Say, tell it to clean around the couch or tell it to clean around the dining room table. You can do that. So that's pretty cool. Down here, you've got your voice assistant button. There on the 3D tab, you can do your 3D mapping and then you've got an access to your video camera right there. And uh, so down here under docked, you can actually do the dustbin manually. So if you want it to empty its dustbin because it didn't for some reason you could. And then you got your map management there where you can go in and tweak your map. And like I said, you got quick mapping at the top right and that's just a, another quick way to have it learn your house. So the app is pretty cool. And then if you swipe up when you're in the smart cleaning, you've got some more features. So you've got a cleaning preference, which is standard or customized. You can tell it if you want it to clean once or twice when it's doing its thing. You've got vacuum power, which is quiet, standard, and max. And then you can go max plus for some hardcore vacuuming. I'm a hardcore vacuumer. Is vacuumer a word? I think so. We just made it a word, whatever. Um, you got your water flow level, and then uh, so you got a cleaning sequence, smart cleaning, cleaning schedule. Oh, the schedule. So basically you can create your own schedule. You can do it room by room. You can even create the order of your room. So let's say you work at home and you want your office clean first of all the rooms so you can get to work. You can do that. Let's say you have a nursery or a small child and you want to have it clean before nap time. You can do that. So it's pretty cool that you can change the order of how it cleans. Awesome. All right, so now that we've talked about some of the features and you've kind of seen this thing in action, let's talk about my pros and cons. Let's talk about what the pros, the features in general on this thing are amazing. Yeah, there's some co couple others out there, like one of the top of the line Roborox, but this thing, I don't know. I'd have to try that one to see, but I, I bet this gives it a run for its money. Um, and I don't know if there's any better vacuum than those two out there, this one and that one. But anyway, the mapping system is spot on and it learns very quickly. I mean, as soon as I set this thing up, got to learn this loft very quickly. And I find that the 3D mapping worked great. So everything about the mapping system is fantastic. I love the hands-free experience. Um, the self-cleaning and emptying is really cool. Um, you know, you put that water in there and that, that water lasts quite a while, the clean water, and then you just empty the dirty water when that fills up. And that took a while for me to fill that the first time. And I use this thing all the time. Siri shortcuts work great, and it's really all you need. Now, I, I'm a home kit lover, and I know a lot of you out there are home kit lovers, and it's a little disappointing that robot vacuums are not natively in home kit. But with Siri shortcuts, it's really all you need. I mean, you can start a cleaning, you can pause it from cleaning, you can send it back to its base. HomeKit's great and all, and you can do that with HomeBridge and Hoops. If you really need to, 
but I find that it covers all my bases. Same thing with my Dyson here. I just find that Series Shortcuts just does everything I need, and it's basically HomeKit Junior. So you can call it a pro or a con. I call it a pro because I think the Series Shortcuts works very well. And really, when you set up the schedule, I mean, this thing does everything on its own. So do you really need HomeKit for that? No. But if you just want to do a quick cleaning, just tell Siri to do it. But I love the schedule and you just set it to go and you leave it. Yeah, you could probably gain a few automations in HomeKit, but come on, let's just keep it simple with our robot vacuums. That's what robots are for. Okay, so those are my pros. Let's talk about the cons. And there's not much going on here. There's not too many cons. When in mopping mode, it doesn't still vacuum the carpets or rugs. So it's great that it recognizes carpets or rugs, but I know the Robo Rocks will still do your carpets and rugs when it's in the mopping mode. So I don't know if I like that. Now, a couple people have told me, and I saw on YouTube and a couple other places, that some people think the mop on this thing doesn't work very well. That was not my experience. Everything I had on the floor that I wanted mopped, it worked. So I can't say that I had a huge mess because I'm a pretty big neat freak, and maybe I should have tested it more, but I didn't have a problem with the mop. So anyway, but I do wish that it did carpets and rugs. So I wish you could just put the mop heads on there and just let it do its thing. And so you don't have to switch modes and put the, the mop pads back on and whatever, because you do have to put those mop pads back on every time you want it in mopping mode. And it automatically recognizes that they're on and switches it to mopping mode. But first world problem, you gotta put the mop pads on and it won't do the carpets when you got it in that mode. So that's a con. Has a slight problem with our dining room furniture. You can see here in this video, it's like, is that black iron, Teresa? What is our furniture? Yeah, it's a black rod iron. Black rod iron. So it gets a little confused on that of whether or not it's, a, it's an obstacle or a piece of furniture. Now it still gets over it like a hardcore off-road vehicle, but it, it gets a little tricked by that. But other obstacles, I found it did great. So just in our particular case with that type of furniture, you can see here it, it had a little issue. Price. The price is a con. This sucker is expensive. But when you think of all that it can do, and I mean, this thing's a security camera, it's a vacuum, it does so much, the self-emptying, the convenience of it all, the smart home part of it all. I mean, you think of other smart home devices, yeah, there's not too much out there that's costly, but this does a lot. And there's a lot of mechanics built in that thing. And its competition is right around the same price with the Roborocks and a couple others out there. So, hmm, is it a con? I don't know. So that's it, what do you think? Do you have one? Are you buying one? Let me know in the comments. If you have one, what do you think? If you're, if, is the price too much? Let me know. But uh, yeah, I love it. And uh, you know, I did pay for it myself and I'm not regretting it. I mean, uh, I'm all about cleanliness and I love the fact that it just does it for me. So I give it a thumbs up. So hopefully you like this review and my thoughts on the Ecovax D-Bot X1 Omni, that name is a mouthful. But hopefully you like my thoughts on that. And smash the like button if you did. Subscribe to the channel, keep coming back for more videos every Tuesday, smart home tech, home security. I'm your guy. Happy to see you, happy to talk to you, whatever you wanna say at YouTube land. Till the next video, peace and love.